Israel Adesanya first entered the octagon having already made a name as a two-division kickboxing champion. In MMA, he proved just as devastating. 11 fights, 11 finishes. Leading up to his UFC debut in February 2018, where he lived up to the hype, unleashing his vast arsenal, brutal kicks, and crisp combinations. Middleweights, I'm the new dog in the yard. Adesanya continued his undefeated streak as he outclassed every middleweight contender that was put in front of him, starting with Marvin Vittori. The rest of the strikers in this division, you're on notice. Styles make fights. I'm the style bender. I know how to adapt to each and every single one of them. If you can't touch him, it's hard to find when to throw and what to commit to. Oh, Adesanya lands a flush right. Faking, he's switching stances, giving a bunch of different looks. I can fight going forward. I can fight going backwards. Take down attempt for Tavares. Oh, wow, look wow. at Adesanya now. Nice defense there by the New Zealander. He has been the boss. He has been the bully. He has led the dance. And the last style bender is starting to go to work. Sideways, I'm ambidextrous, bystanceful, trademark. The unbeaten Adesanya burst onto the scene. Another combination. With three UFC wins in just five months. Israel, the last time. So, the promotion would match its surging prospect against top 10 knockout artist Derek Brunson. I'm in his face, I saw him. He can't even control his emotions. He's just coming in here trying to flex. Don't worry, November 3rd, I will deliver. Israel, you're skinny, bro. Hey, you better lift some weights, man. You're skinny as hell. I'm not worried about you. Bring that chin on the planet, and I'll clean it off as well. So here is the unflappable Israel Sanya fourth UFC appearance here tonight. I mean, for him to move. He is 17-0, but tonight he figures to be facing his stiffest challenge to date considerably as Israel Adesanya takes on Robert Whittaker. This is a guy that has fought five rounds against some of the more scary guys that we've ever seen in the octagon. His fight with Yoel Romero are things of legend. And this guy is a great champion and one of the best fighters that I've ever seen in the octagon. And he has been perfect at 185 pounds, 8 and 0. Whitaker has to make this fight a little bit dirty. If it's just a straight kickboxing match, there aren't many people in the world that can beat Israel at that. Stay on the good side. Stay on the good side. At 186 pounds, fighting out of the Bergen and out again by way of Sao Bernardo do Campo to Paulo Brasil. Presenting the former glory kickboxing champion, Alex Colatar. There's a guy that's in uh, MMA now. His name's Alex Pereira, and he's yeah. truly one of the most terrifying human beings. That dude, yeah. go look up Alex Pereira's KO from his last fight. Right. Dude, he hits people, and it, it doesn't even make sense. Really? It's like, it doesn't, he's the same size as these people. Yeah. But he hits them, it's like he's a heavyweight and they're a lightweight. I'm telling yeah. you, he's got freaky power. Like, like Pacquiao had back in the day, remember? saw the knee. It's Pereira's left hook that's doing a lot of the damage. What makes Pereira dangerous, he's not just a good boxer, he's gonna mix in good kicks, he's gonna have good Pereira knees. came out with a lot of good energy. It's his boxing that really stands Pereira out. Pereira feels like he's in the best the semifinals. We are underway. Oh, and a right hand, and again, Simon Martin. Victory over Israel on a size knee to the body, a sneaky one from Pereira, goes right back there again. Nice little back kick. Right on the left here. Let's see what Rama can do this round. Still has power. Oh, spinning kick from Pereira just missed over the head of Jacoby. Fans always love that. He's big cheer here. He can get that straight right down the pipe. He's gonna put him out. And Paparin, hang on. Pereira teeing off to the body. Upstairs now. Straight shots getting through. Just misses. Pereira wearing white gloves. Pereira now opening up on Wilton. Come on, 
Oh!